in terms of cosmology, there were, there were a couple of developments in the last, uh, the last generation, last 20, 30 years, that I'd like to discuss. And they ultimately bring us back around to um, the quantum general relativity disparity. Uh, but, but before we get to, to that, let's, let's walk through those anomalies, um, dark matter. So he invoked something which is uh, called uh, the dunkel materie, the dark matter. Uh, it was a, a phenomenon that had to do with gravity, and uh, there was no characterization of it. And uh, in the past uh, 40 years, we have seen that when we look at rotation curves in galaxies of stars, it looks like they plateau as if there was extra gravity. As if there was extra gravity, which if it wasn't there, it wouldn't hold the stars together. So galaxies will f the stars in the galaxies would fly apart. So that's kind of important because it looks like excess gravity. Uh, we can measure it, but we don't know what is the source of this extra gravity. What is it exactly? When, uh, with, the, with the progress in all the astrophysical, astronomical observations, we are able to look at the sky in radio, in X, in all these different um, 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 wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. So we can, see, um, we can see the universe at the electromagnetic spectrum, and we can see the universe in terms of gravity, as we said, with the velocity curves. When we look at the, at the, at the, the picture that we have here, we look at the collision, the bullet cluster, at a collision uh, which takes 500,000 years, where the, the, the cluster collision leaves dark matter seems not to be touched at all, and uh, all the and it's the, the, the blue stuff, and all the red stuff is the is the gas where the particles are actually colliding. So what is the stuff that galaxies come together, they collide, but this stuff doesn't touch at all? And uh, completely different than the matter that we know, completely different than the interactions of matter that we know, non-electromagnetic at all. We call this dark matter, and we have developed uh, different kind of scenarios for what it could be. Could it be um, dark stars? Could it be uh, the, the, the black holes? Could it be, what could it be? We made a lot of observations, the astronomers and the cosmologists made a lot of observations, and they have excluded all sorts of um, large objects in the sky that could compose dark matter. And then there was this revelation that perhaps uh, we can explain dark matter as a, a new type of, uh, of particle, a new type of, um, if you will, something that it is not some, something that it is not included in the standard model, but it's an exotic particle. This the, there, there have been about 20 years where we were we have been convinced that dark matter is a particle and we are going to find it. But you all read in the newspapers that supersymmetry, we haven't found any supersymmetry, any hints for supersymmetry. So now we are looking at the different detectors, the, uh, at the different detectors that we produce, uh, uh, we think we can produce dark matter. We look at it uh, in a form of, a, in a more exotic form, not just in the form of supersymmetry. And so do all the direct dark matter experiments that are, are awaiting there for a nuclear interaction to happen with the, with the dark matter particle. And the, the range of the masses that we are exploring are from the very low masses at the GeV level, at the mass of the proton, let's say, but it would be weakly interacting, all the way to 500 GeV at the, at the Large Hadron Collider. So if the particle, if the dark matter particle, whether it is supersymmetric or something else, is there, we have a very good chance to triangulate it among these three ways of experiments, the, the experiment, the indirect, the experiments in the sky, where dark matter annihilates with each other and produces different particles, excesses of particles that we can see, or in the collider experiments, where we actually produce dark matter, or in the direct dark matter underground experiments, a huge project, huge program of underground experiments, where we see the nuclear interactions with the active volume of a detector. So the status, the, there is a proliferation of dark matter experiments, and we have been saying in the past you know, 10 years we have been saying that we are right around the corner to discover dark matter, and I think we are. If, the dark, if dark matter is a particle, we really are right around the corner because we have 
cornered it from so many experimental sources that it has got to be it has got to be reachable in the very close foreseeable future uh, with all the experimental program that we have set it apart.